Hello everyone and welcome to this unboxing of the Union Introductory Starter Set for Armoured Clash from War Cradle Studios. Before we dive into the Union and all their glory, um, a disclaimer, War Cradle very kindly sent this as a complimentary copy for us to unbox, paint and use in our games. So thanks War Cradle, that's really cool. Okay, so the Union introductory starter set or introductory set is a perfect way of jumping into Armoured Clash with your chosen faction. So, all the, all the blame on the set, but what do you get in the box? So, a, a full army, basically. Uh, the dice, quick start rules and tokens and templates that you need to play, which is really, really cool. So we get a resin commander model, six federal troop stands, uh, two UR-31E ARC Troopers, Pacifier Heavy Troopers, Hotchkiss Light Infantry, Iron Eye Transports. So fans of Wild West Exodus are probably recognising some of this. Gatling Fire Teams, Rocket Pod Fire Teams, Rolling Thunder Main Battle Tanks, Kodiak Artillery Tanks or an ARC Tanks. You can build them in different ways. Iron Horse Cavalry. Uh, you can also build them as Blazer Cavalry. Armstrong Heavy Artillery, which is always cool. Heavy Artillery is always good. <laughs> Oh, I like the idea of a Moab Thermo Barrick Mortar. That sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? Um, heavy Mechs. Build them as Arc Mechs. Iron Eagle Cavalry. You also get your Quick Start Rules. It's in the full rule book, but it's enough to get you going in the game. Measuring Tools and Objectives. Um, the DA Token Sheet. <laughs> and 12 Dice. You literally get everything you need to crack open. So you and a mate can get a, you know, one of these each and, and use the Quick Start Rules to get into the game. But enough of me going on. Let's crack the box open. Okay, so straight out of the box, we have an Armoured Clash little bump sheet. Um, tells you where to get your orb at. So you can scan the QR code and it goes to armoredclash.com. Now the orb at is the order of battle. I have a copy of it up on my laptop at the side. And essentially it tells you the stats for your men. <laughs> like the rules and, and so on and so forth. So uh, it's really worth checking it out. It tells you the points, how to build an army and so on. Now I'm guessing this box is about a thousand points which would match with the crown and the empire starter sets. Essentially these boxes that you get in the Battle of Singapore or you can buy separately. And it's really worth having a look. The support online from War Cradle is excellent. Okay, so bases. Now if you haven't seen the armor class bases yet, they are cool, they're all textured, uh, and they have little holes in some of them, or some of them blanked off. And you've got little flags for like commanders. So I'm guessing there's plenty of them in there. Let's have a look. Plenty of bases, put them to the side. Dice, you can never have too many of them, can you? One thing Walker will do really well is to give you enough dice to play the game properly. Resin Commander. Now, if you played Wild West Exodus, I think this is a Wild West Exodus character. Or very close to. So he's called a Federal Trooper Command Platoon, which is what he goes in. So, but it just makes your model look a little, this model makes the stand look a little bit cooler, doesn't it? So. Yeah, he looks like one of the Wildest Exodus characters. So the Union are, well, you're in America, basically, aren't they? That's a really nice miniature. They're quite heavily armoured. You've got a little drummer boy there with him. Do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. A nice, nice little model to, to boost your calf. And then we get some sprues. So, four sprues worth of Union goodness. And uh, then with the box on the side. So, we start with, they're, they're essential duplicates of each other. So, Stand those there. Lots of lots of armored class goodness. So if we look at this one, so that's got your tanks on, your bikes, things like that. And if you look through the orbat, it'll tell you what these things do. So in the in the orbats, for example, if we look at a Union battle tank, I'll scroll through <laughs> live. Scroll through live. Now the games so far that we've played have actually been won by the infantry. Um, which oh, every good game should, it shouldn't just be about shelling things to pieces, should it? So there we go, for example. So they're Blazer Heavy Cavalry, um, which are like little sort of steam bikes from what I can tell, which are, ah, that is sick in itself. Um, 
You can build them either as iron horses, again, if you played Wild West Exodus, you'll uh, recognize that, or blazes. Your typical iron horse. So you either have five stands, 10 stands, or 15 stands, depending on, on your game size. So as you hear, you've got a notable five stands, which is like the lower end of the uh, of the, the, the size of battle you can play, but that's not, not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, they're 10 inch speed, defense two, damage limit one, discipline six, break limit one, um, reasonable ranged attack, 6 to 14, so 6 is short, 14 is long, 4 dice against light, and 3 against heavy, and they're actually alright in melee. Uh, they have hover, vanguard, and versatile. Um, so yeah, so like lots of cool little rules. So like the, the orbat will explain everything, I'm not going to go through every, rate, every, every unit in here, because there's so many different options that you can build. Um, but they are all really, really cool. Um, and the models go together lovely, so it's always probably worthwhile reading your orbat just to sort of get an idea as to what you want to build, um, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go through and think, hey, this is what I'm going to do, and then I'm going to build it up, and that might be a video in itself, sort of building up my Armoured Clash army. Uh, well, my third Armoured Clash army, but there you go. So there's two of those sprues. We shall put them aside. You then have two of, essentially, the infantry sprue. With your armoured horse. <laughs> iron hide, that's it, not your armoured. The iron hide. Now that was a Wild West Exodus vehicle. Where you could like put your posse in it. <laughs> it was really cool. Uh, essentially it's troop transport. Every, every, um, well not every faction, but most factions seem to be have some form of troop transport at the minute. Um, this allows you to transport three stands. You can put a six base unit in two of them essentially. Um, it's got a, a bit of a ranged blaster on the side as well, which is always good, isn't it? But it just gets your troops up the... I guess it gets them up the battlefield quicker, which is kind of what you want, isn't it? Um, or alternatively, you can build it into a lamplighter flame truck, which is pretty cool. Like a flamer thing, which is, yeah, nice. Anyway, models are beautiful. The plastics are absolutely really, really, really gorgeous that they're managing to make for this. They, they really are lovely plastics. Um, even more bikes on there, look. Very cool. Very, very, very nice models. The detail in them is excellent. I've said it before, and I'll say it again, that, you know, like Walker and like some of the best plastics you're going to find, you know, full stop bar none. Um, they, they truly do. Some gorgeous looking models there for your riflemen and your various different, you know, different units and compositions. And there's two sprues like that as well in there. So you get more than enough to do like a, a I believe it's called skirmish level. It's the smallest level of game. So for example, the, you've got two two transports or two that can be two lamplight trucks, um, the tanks. So if you look at like the the different options, but the the general one is a rolling thunder battle tank. So if we come on here, it's like these components will make up your rolling thunder, which is a main battle tank. You can take them either two, four, or six, depending on the size of the game you're playing. In here, obviously, you've got enough to build two. Um, looking at that unit, it's actually quite quite nice. Um, it seems to be relatively quite powerful um, against heavy targets. So, for example, if you look at like ranged heavy. It goes up to 14 to 20 to 26 inch range and chucks seven dice, which is really, really quite cool. <laughs> Big batter in it, which is what you want. Um, you could alternatively also make it into a, an arc tank if, if you wanted, which is, yeah, uh, yeah, I don't really know. Well, she'd say on that, arc tanks are, are really good at killing infantry with their Tesla weaponry. <laughs> read, read the background and such like, and you'll know why. Um, but yeah. Really cool miniatures, they're really nice. What else do we get in the box? Let's have a quick look, shall we? You also get an entire set of maneuvering templates and objectives, and the, the big ten things for land ships, things like that. We'll get onto that as we, we get them and add them into our army. They're all plastic, they're all really nice. There's no cardboard here, that's all, all really nice. It's gonna last you while you're gaming. A map of the dystopian world, which um, I've shown this a few times before. Um, they are beautiful. I'm gonna sort of get a couple framed, I think, for my gaming room. Um, as we go along, but you, you get the idea. <laughs> the fact they put something like that in there just really gives it a nod to how much they love this. Um, and it does make all of the difference. Beautiful, I love them, I really do. Got the quick start rule booklet, or pamphlet, as you should say. It's got enough in there to get you going on it, moving a unit and so on. You know, how to, how to play the game, training ground mission. 
gives you a bit of an idea as to what everything does. The full rule book you, you have to pick up separately, but I think it's like 10 quid, I don't think it's a lot of money, um, when you expand and you want to have sort of like a fuller rules experience. And then, more tokens. So you get two templates worth of tokens for all the effects, which are also your damage on the back. Yeah, really stock box, really nice, really well done War Cradle. And there we go, what a beautiful set from War Cradle. What a way to get into the game with your faction being the Union. Yeah, it's really like the fact that you've got everything you need there in a box. You've got a full army, yeah, fair enough, it's like a thousand points. But that's still a full army in a box, you know? Uh, with the rule book, or the, well, the quick start rule book, the dice, the tokens, the templates, that's really everything you need. You and a mate get one of them each, choosing faction, you're away. Really, really impressed. Um, yeah. Thank you, Walker, for sending it out. Um, I am going to now dive into the Orbat and find out what my Union army is going to look like. And then I'm going to do a live stream building up later on, probably next week, I think. But until then, thank you for watching. Let me know what faction you're excited for. And there'll be more War Cradle, Armoured Clash and Dystopian Wars coming on the channel very, very soon. We hope you enjoyed that video. We love making content for you and really thank you for your support. If you want to learn more about the bunker, head over to tomsbunker.com where you can not only purchase some lovely new models if you're within the UK, you can also find our links to Discord and also our Patreon if you should wish to contribute. Thank you to all of our Patreons, past, present and future, for the support they offer the bunker. It is truly epic and is lining up 2024 to be a fantastic year. Thank you. I'm